Marla Powertrain, the engineering services division of Marla, designs and develops high efficiency engines for the global automotive industry. Automotive manufacturers worldwide are investigating and exploiting new technologies with the aim of reducing the CO2 emissions of their vehicle fleets. Electric vehicles represent a viable option as they don't generate harmful tailpipe pollutants. Additionally, the electricity to power them can be provided from a selection of renewable sources. However, despite continuous developments in battery technology, the driving range of electric vehicles is still very limited and battery recharge times remain significant. There is increasing interest in combining the desirable features of an electric vehicle with those of a conventional vehicle by the addition of an onboard electrical generator, creating a range-extended electric vehicle. For long journeys, when the battery and fuel tank are both depleted, the driver can simply refuel in a matter of minutes at the pump. Also, with the use of a range extender, the size of the battery pack can typically be reduced, giving a net cost and weight saving. To explore the potential benefits of this approach, and to investigate the effect of range extender engine behavior on engine component requirements, Mahler goes ahead with the design and build of a dedicated range extender. A broad spectrum of different engine configurations is evaluated, and their relative merits are assessed on both a technical and commercial basis. Key attributes for the clean sheet engine design include low production costs, small package volume, good NVH characteristics, and competitive fuel efficiency. Mahler Powertrain uses its in-house 3D printer to produce full-size resin models of the key engine components, such as the crankshaft, to support the concept evaluation process. Drive cycle simulations are conducted to establish the power requirements for a range extender engine and the optimum specification is confirmed as a two-cylinder, inline, four-stroke, naturally aspirated gasoline engine with a displacement of 900 cc, delivering 30 kilowatts at peak power. With the emphasis on minimizing weight and package volume, the final design incorporates several innovative features, including a fully integrated axial flux generator, a low deck height two valve layout with overhead camshaft and roller finger followers. A lubrication system that enables engine installation at any angle. And an ultra compact NVH optimized intake system. Many of the components for the first prototype engine are procured from within the Mahler Group. As with all first build prototype engines, it is vital at this stage to verify that all component dimensions are within the specified design tolerances. The head and block castings and other major parts are accurately measured in the metrology lab to ensure design conformance. The first prototype range extender engine is then carefully assembled by a skilled technician in the controlled environment of Mahler Powertrain's dedicated build shop. Starting with a machined engine block, the crankshaft and main bearings are installed, followed by the pistons and conrods. Then the bed plate and sump castings are attached and the engine is rotated. The cylinder head gasket and head casting are added and the bolts are tightened in sequence to the correct torque. The timing chain and tensioners are then installed. Followed by the camshaft and valve train components. The side cover with integrated oil pump is mounted along with the oil filter. Finally, the cam cover is fitted to complete the engine. From here, the engine is transferred to the engine test cells for its first shakedown test. Starting a completely new engine for the very first time is always an exciting moment. 
Over the next few months, the engine's performance characteristics are developed and refined. The calibration of the range extender is more straightforward than a conventional engine, as it doesn't have to cover such a wide range of loads and speeds or respond quickly to driver input, because it's only charging the battery and not directly driving the wheels. It is also important to optimize the start and warm-up phases to minimize NVH levels and the catalyst light-off time. The next key phase in the project is to run the engine and generator as a system within a test cell which simulates the electric vehicle installation. A sophisticated battery simulation system is used to replicate the high-voltage battery pack in a typical EV. The range extender is connected to this system via an inverter and the generator is then used as a motor to start the engine, exactly as it would be in a vehicle. A range of tests are conducted to further develop the specific performance characteristics required for this unique application. The next key step in the project is the selection and preparation of the donor vehicle. Rather than installing the range extender in an existing EV, the decision is made to convert a conventional gasoline engine vehicle to range extended battery electric operation. This affords the Marla team much greater freedom for packaging the necessary components. The vehicle conversion work is carried out in Marla Powertrain's in-house vehicle workshop, starting with the removal of the front and rear modules. The original four-cylinder gasoline engine and transmission are carefully removed by our highly skilled technicians. The first of the EV systems to be installed in the vehicle is the battery pack and charger module, mounted below the rear luggage compartment. This ensures a low center of gravity and preserves the original boot space. A special subframe has been constructed to fit inside the engine bay, into which the electric traction motor and two-speed transmission are installed. The range extender engine is also securely mounted within the subframe, along with the two inverters, one each for the generator and the motor. The complete subframe assembly is then carefully lowered into the vehicle. The front module and cooling packs are refitted incorporating separate cooling circuits for the engine, motor, inverters and the battery. The rear module is also refitted once all the battery, charger and isolator circuits have been fully checked. All the associated electrical cables and wiring systems are installed in the engine bay, as well as the fuel supply lines to the engine, and the cooling systems are reconnected. The bonnet is refitted to complete the vehicle assembly. and the motor drive to the wheels is tested for the first time. With the car assembly finished, the graphics are applied and following some final safety checks, the vehicle is driven out of the workshop. The next stop is the chassis dyno to carry out essential shakedown tests to ensure that the electrical systems, traction motor and transmission are all operating correctly and delivering drive to the road wheels. Next, the new half-size fuel tank is filled with its first supply of petrol. And back to the chassis dyno for testing the range extender engine itself to confirm that it functions correctly. This is also the first chance to measure the exhaust emissions and to confirm the generator function for charging the main battery. Following the shakedown tests, the primary charging cable is connected to the main supply to replenish the battery power over a few hours to its maximum level. Finally, after all the validation testing is complete and all the safety systems have been checked, it's time for the first test drive of the vehicle on public roads. Soon the opportunity arises to recharge the battery from a public charging point. A security swipe card is used to activate the charging system and gain access to the power socket. And after a few hundred miles of normal driving, the car pays its first visit to a public filling station to top up the petrol tank. With the electric motor providing plenty of power, 
and all concerns over range anxiety dispelled, the car is soon taking its place amongst normal traffic on the open road. Through designing and developing a complete new engine and then its integration into a sophisticated EV demonstrator vehicle, Marla Powertrain has shown its broad spectrum of engine and vehicle development capabilities. The Marla Range Extender is an ideal solution for our future personal transport needs.